Troy Galloway is a construction manager and consultant, commercial and residential builder, and a certified inspector for all commercial and residential buildings. And now, here is About the House with Troy Galloway. Hello, folks. Welcome back to About the House. This is your audio university of knowledge of everything you need to know about your home. From construction to maintenance, remodeling, real estate, investing. And we also, through the blessing of the uh, answer, we have a forever library with our podcast. Because each week we have a specific si- a subject or a trade we're trying to promote and uh, inform people about. And there's just so much information that you're never going to get it all. So I want you, if you would, please just take you a pen and paper, make some notes. And if when we get uh, if after the show's over or any time that you have questions, you contact Contact us through our Facebook at Galloway Building Services or our webpage and our either and our guest also you can contact him and ask any questions, he'll help you. And so we want to make sure that we have everything that you need. This is Troy Galloway. I am your humble host, owner of Galloway Building Services. Hey, just like this show, we're one of a kind. There isn't another company that provides the unique services we do for folks throughout the Midwest every day. We help people with construction consulting. If you have any questions about how your job is being done or if it's being done correctly, give us a call. Uh, we do new construction inspections. So if you're building whether a brand new home or a remodeling project and you want to make sure that the job's being done right, you give us a call. We do commercial and residential inspections. So that means whether you're buying or you're selling the building, we're there to make sure that the job that you're getting what you know what you're getting. We also do construction conflict resolutions and then expert witnessing and if you have to, you know, you get in any kind of legal problems or or things that's not happening, you give us a call. We do that type of work also heaven forbid that be but that does happen we've been in the business now for over 42 years so we're well well versed in everything out here we also well our motto to our company is that we're making sure you're getting what you paid for the job is being done right and you're not getting ripped off so give us a call at galloway building services and our phone number is 636-394-3112 that's six three six three nine four three one one two. And before we get started, I want to thank J and H Properties, our real estate broker agents. Uh, they are take they, uh, I thank them very much for supporting our show. And man, folks, I hear every week about people say they are just such an awesome company to work for. They take their time. They're very sensitive, you know, to the, everybody's issues. It's you know, it's buying and selling a home is pretty dead gum scary sometimes. And it's really really nice to know that whenever you pick up the phone the person you're working with is always there for you so give them a call j h properties 314-602-4835 that's 314-602-4835 well folks today i have a really unique and a great guest and i've been trying to get these folks on here with us for a little while and luckily they've jumped in here i have a rank in tech is it this great rank in tech frank d miller he's the dean of enrollment management and in today's world right now we are as we know we're really short on manpower out here and these folks are the ones out here supplying us a great source of qualified craftsmen frank welcome aboard thank you for coming to our show hey thank you for having me it's a pleasure so uh, tell us a little bit about Rankin Tech, how long they've been in business, and you know, uh, kind of bring us up to history. I know a lot of us have heard of you, but there's a lot of folks out here that has it. Yeah, so Rankin Technical College has been in St. Louis for over 110 years. We actually have three campuses. We had the one in St. Louis. We have two newer campuses, one's in Perryville, Missouri, one's in Wentzville. So between the three campuses, we can serve you know the St. Louis metro area and quite a bit of the outside area we actually cover um, most of the state of missouri and most of illinois that's where most of our students come from but we're a technical college we provide really students the skills that they need and be really prepared to go to work once they graduated that's great I, I, i've actually folks i've worked with a, several of the rank and tech people out there and I, oh, oh i got to throw a little quick plug in here for or plumbing because they are uh, uh, daryl or third generation of plumbing he'd been on our radio show and yet he actually his his father uh, made him go to rank and tech for finishing school and he just swears by and he hires all rank and tech people 
nothing but nothing but praise for all the folks. So I guess you hear that all the time, don't you? Yeah, and uh, we have a great plumbing program. We actually have um, a gentleman by the name of Dave Muni. Very similar situation. Oh, yeah, I know Dave. Father went to Rankin, had a plumbing company. He went to Rankin, had a plumbing company. He's come back to do, uh, you know, to teach the course. And uh, really great course. It's actually overfilled. Uh, so this is like the first oh, time in a news, long time news. we've gotten over 40 students. Um, some of it might be because it's a nine-month program. Basically, it gets you prepared to go into a plumbing apprenticeship, so it's a quick and easy way to get in. But uh, he's doing a great job, and, and we got a great program. So what? tell us about – I know that uh, – kind of give us a quick summary of all the – I mean, as many as you can. I know you guys do a lot, not just about construction, but, you know, some of the other pro- – all the programs are kind of all the programs that you guys do. Yes. Yeah, so there's different divisions at Rankin. You can go into our automotive program, construction, electrical. Uh, we have an IT program. It's kind of a, a hidden gem as far as I'm concerned. And then we have manufacturing. All of those divisions have about six or about a half a dozen or so uh, specific programs. So if you want to be, you know, work in um, automotive collision repair or if you want to be a mechanic, if you want to be a carpenter, or an electrician, um, HVAC, you know, all those programs fall under one of those divisions. So we have plenty of programs to um, to talk about and, and be glad to have anybody that's interested, you know, let us know. So, well, now, uh, strictly construction type is job uh, training, what kind of training programs do you have out there for them? Yeah, so in construction, you have your HVAC, plumbing, uh, carpentry. Uh, we have electrical divisions, so if you want to be an electrician, you can be industrial, you can be commercial. Um, we have a major appliance program, so part of the HVAC, you can do some of these programs, you can either get a dual degree or you can do an extra semester. And with this particular program, you can go into the HVAC and do one extra uh, semester of, of major appliance, and you got two basically degrees that you've you know gotten one. And so um, plenty of opportunities to either be specific to um, a specific program or have a dual program where you got a little bit more opportunities. And then we actually have a, a couple of programs that are kind of, you learn a little bit of everything. So you can learn welding, you can learn plumbing, you can learn uh, carpentry. And so that way, when you go out into the field, you might go to a, a company or a manufacturer, and instead of hiring individual electricians or a carpenter, they got one person that can do it. So it's very good for both sides. I didn't know such a program existed. That's a fabulous idea. Uh, so, I mean, and, you know, a lot of our remodeling companies, they honestly do a lot of that different type of stuff like that, you know? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, from <laughs> sometimes having to do the work on the work truck, you know, to get it moving. Well, that's uh, – so how long does these classes, as a generalization, do they run for our construction-type classes? Yeah, so most of our programs are going to be 24 months of, or less. 24 months is going to get you a degree. So you'll get a two-year's associate's degree. The welding and plumbing program are typically nine months, so they're a little bit shorter because you only need so long to learn, you know, those kind of skills. But with the um, with the plumbing, basically, it gets you prepared to go into an apprenticeship. So you'll do nine months of the program, and then uh, we have a great job placement. Uh, I believe twenty four out of twenty five plumbing students actually had jobs before they graduated. But then they'll go to that company and basically uh, do their five year apprenticeship before they're um, recognized as a full fledged plumber so is that would be the same too with uh, say carpenters they kind of go would be entering as the uh, an experienced apprentice would, would that be the right way of saying that yeah most of the programs for so two years and the i guess the unique thing about ranking is you're, you're learning hands-on you know we're not the the four year going through you know a bunch of different classes you're actually doing the leg work while you're at school so it's basically going to prepare you so when someone tells you hey go you know uh, Go to this building site. I want you to wire up or frame something. They know what to do. So they're ready. And then, of course, uh, you know, over time, they become experts and, and real professionals. Yeah, that's good. That's awesome. So, yeah, and if they're a two-year, if they're walking in there with t- two years' experience, then, uh, you know, they're almost – actually, they probably know a lot – more than a lot of the guys out there that's getting two years because of specific training. But let me ask you, though, about the training. So you said it's hands-on. Give us a little bit of insight. What do you mean hands-on? Do you just like, I mean, do you build a wall in a shop, or do you go out in the field and build? build or tell, How does yeah. this work? So typically a, a class will start with about an hour or so into um, 
a classroom, and then they'll actually go into a, a, a real work setting. I did it again, folks. I do it every every single week. I get so wrapped up in the conversation. I just keep rattling. So we are getting ready to wrap. I do want to go back in to talk more about this hands-on training because I think that uh, it's going to be advantageous for the folks to know when they hire somebody from Rank Tech why they are qualified as they are. And I thank you very much, folks, for listening to our show. We're going to be right back with uh, Frank Miller uh, of Rankin Tech. And uh, like I said, get your pen and paper out. Uh, we're going to give you information on how to not only contact him, but how to contact any of the worker, any of the uh, graduates, RE, maybe uh, some worker coming on the side while they're uh, work going to school. Well, folks, thank you. We will see you on the flip side. I'm looking forward to it. Troy Galloway is a construction manager and consultant, commercial and residential builder, and a certified inspector for all commercial and residential buildings. And now, here is About the House with Troy Galloway. Welcome back, folks, to About the House. This is your humble host, Troy Galloway, owner of Galloway Building Services. We are a unique company. Uh, We do construction consulting. We do construction inspections as well as buying and home inspections. We have an awesome guest here we've already been talking with, Mr. Frank Miller of Rankin Tech. He is the dean of enrollment management. And we was in the last segment just visiting Frank as you're about, you know, talking about the different hands-on training. So help us out here. Say, we'll start with a car. Carpenter. What kind of hands-on type training do you offer the you know that the guys are doing out there? So when uh, somebody is a contractor wants to hire him, he knows what kind of training he's actually really had. Yeah, so most of the programs being hands-on, our facilities uh, will have areas that they can, and specifically for carpenters, they can build a, a mini house. So they'll frame up, uh, they'll install a door, a window, and so they'll do that kind of work. Um, in a in a kind of a structured setting and then they'll actually go out and they work on real homes so part of our program at rankin is we purchase homes around the neighborhood and we try to give back to the community we'll remodel those homes students uh, from plumbing carpentry electrical they'll be able to do a lot of you know that work and actually put a house together and then we sell it back to the community not to make any money just kind of break even a lot of times i don't even think we make money but uh, the purpose of it is to give real life experience and give back to the community. That is really great. So they get in shop training, and then they come out into the field and, and sweat like the rest of us. Right. <laughs> and there's, uh, you know, basically for your first year, you're learning all the basics. I mean, from turning on a light switch to wiring, you know, a full fledged building. And so the second year is more really where you're going to be directed into your your line of work or your career. And so in that case, you know, you get inside a house and you really actually start doing the work. That's really good uh, skills to learn. Yeah, you really don't know until you get your hands on out there because uh, I know a prefab wall in a shop. You know, it's under a conditioned air, uh, environment where you get out there in the field where termites have been eating and you know, wiring backwards. And so now I, I, I've worked with you folks and I've had both male and females. Do you have a lot of females getting involved in the construction trades now? I'm hearing we're seeing hopefully we're seeing more and more every day. Yeah, we actually encourage, you know, diversity, and inclusion, because, I mean, that's um, um Good, good folks can make good workers, and we want to definitely reach out to women. I mean, women have a, a basically a job guaranteed when they're done, right? Yeah. And so hopefully everybody does, but uh, they do very well in the trades. Um, we, we probably increased our enrollment. This might not sound like a lot, but we literally had zero enrollment a few, I, w- I would say, a while back. And we're about 8% right now. So the women have continually increased in enrollment, and so that's that's good for everybody. That is, uh, because there's absolutely no reason in the world that women can't get out there and wire a house or, you know, and do plumbing. I mean, uh, they'd probably have a little bit better eye for detail for some of that stuff. So, uh, Oh, yeah, they work out great. So. so, hey, I was just sucking up there to my wife here, so, I, you know, I get the brownie points. <laughs> right. right. But, well, actually, my wife, she grew up in a construction construction environment her father was i've always been so she i mean she might not be as hands-on but it used to be but she does know the field absolutely great it used to be 
all the women knew how to work around the house and take care of that. Do you have programs specifically just for um, like a handyman kind of? I said that sounded like maybe you have something like that with your all around uh, teaching. Yeah, so there's. Um there's kind of a business model that we're trying to uh, lean more towards, and it's, it's, it's called an internship. So basically what we do is we have students in class for eight weeks, and they're, then they're actually sent out and working for a company for eight weeks. During that eight weeks, they're not only learning their skills, they're actually getting paid. So part of uh, a lot of our programs is this, this uh, rotation of eight weeks in the classroom and eight weeks actually out in the business uh, working for somebody and, and learning those skills directly for someone. So uh, very, very much leaning towards that. It gives you an early start in the industry. It builds a relationship early on. You're not getting committed by the student or the company to be hired, but it's going to help you out. So there's a lot of companies, Emerson, uh, Spire, they all work with Rankin, and they want Rankin students. The last job fair that we had, we had almost, and I, I believe I want to say over 500 companies were wow. in, at Rankin looking for Rankin uh, graduates because they know they're ready. And, and a lot of the programs, we're basing around industry and what they want. We just don't create a program because Rankin wants to. We go out into the industry, say, hey, what are you looking for? What do you need? What skills? And so then we put, apply that in our program so when uh, a student graduates, they're ready to go. So what if you're a smaller company? You know, you mentioned some big companies that are looking kind of some of these smaller uh, locally based company. Well, Emerson's locally based, but, you know, a nation company, worldwide company. But uh, can other smaller companies uh, jump on board and, and, and do the same thing with the apprenticeship program? They can. Uh, we have a workforce development um, department, and basically any company can, can get in touch with them. They work a program out. Sometimes there's, there's – um, Maybe someone that just needs special training or maybe a, a certification. So we'll work with that company, and if their employees need you know, a certain certification, and it might be a, a three-month program or a six-month program or even a few weeks. But anyway, the, work, the workplace development will handle any size company. They work with them. Um, we also have a, a, a lifetime job placement service. So we got a career service wow, center. Wow, that's good. Yeah. So, and it works both in. So the students – have that for the whole time after they graduate to come back to you if they're looking for work or want to change. And then we also have companies that reach that department and say, hey, I need, you know, four carpenters. You know, who do you have in mind? Well, we got these graduates, and, and, and they'll work together to place students. No, do they? So if I okay, – folks, we got a lot of contractors out here listening to this show. And so this is a question they're going to want to know. Who do they reach? They call Rankin Tech. Do they call you? Is there – who do they yeah, talk so, to? Yeah, uh, so – Janie Summers, she handles our career services on both sides, student and uh, industry. So if a company is looking to hire and they can't find people, they can contact Janie at Rankin. She's at the main um, uh, campus in St. Louis. The phone number is 314-286-4809. Uh, get in contact with Janie, and she'll, she'll walk you through the process. That's good uh, because I, I, you know, we get all the time people asking, we need help, we need help. And, uh, of course, we, you can only put out so many at a time. But I think this other program you're talking about, what a gold mine for everybody. Absolutely. So, uh, and, and we, with the handyman kind of a service, I see more and more and more guys and girls doing this type of work because it doesn't take a lot. Of, it takes skill. It takes knowledge. But it does. You don't have to have a big company. You don't have to have a lot of inventory. You don't have the overhead. You don't have all the taxes. You know. So I see, and we're just a shortage of these. You know, of finding people. Right. I, as a matter of fact, when we get done here, I'm going to be contacting you because I got some properties that I need some help on, and I'm having trouble getting folks. To, I'm having trouble getting folks to show up. Right. Right. You know. What? It's amazing. You know? Yeah. I mean, anytime I've reached out to uh, getting, you know, even something minor done at the house. I mean. Um, it's a, it's a waiting period. I mean, they're going to tell you, hey, I can't get to you for a month or two. And you're like, wow, you know, what business is good. <laughs> it is, and, and praise God for that. You know, I, I'm sorry. We see it both ways, up and down. Uh, so let me ask you if, uh, you know, so we got that. We, the people want to can call you for that kind of extra labor type work. Are you having any trouble finding? We're having trouble finding people to go to work. Are you having trouble finding anybody to show up to want to learn how to work? Yeah, so – 
in the you know, higher education world, everybody's always looking for students. And unfortunately, I think we've uh, done a great job in, in, our, in our recruitment process and reaching out to high school students and, and our, our legacy here in St. Louis with a great reputation all helps. But there is a shortage. And I've heard around town a lot of the local two-year colleges and four-year colleges are struggling to get enrollment. We've been fortunate that uh, we've we've kind of had a uh, a level, I guess, number of students, but it's always still, especially in a good job market, to have students. So uh, we're doing well. We always can use more. It's a great opportunity for someone to learn a skill that they have a lifetime, uh, you know, for the rest of their life to use. And uh, as people hear about us, they jump right in. It's just really, you know, the resources to get that message out. And by going to your school. Get in an opportunity to walk into the workforce with an education. Folks, you're going to walk out of there. You're going to walk into your job making better money and more desirable than anybody that just wants to learn the hard way. Nothing wrong with learning the hard way, but hey, folks, we're going to, <laughs> we're going to wrap this segment up. We will be right back with you. This is Troy Galloway of About the House. Troy Galloway is a construction manager and consultant, commercial and residential builder, and a certified inspector for all commercial and residential buildings. And now, here is About the House with Troy Galloway. Welcome back, folks, to About the House. This is your humble host, Troy Galloway, and I am the owner of Galloway Building Services. We are a construction consulting and home and building constructions inspection company. Hey, you're buying or selling a home. You give us a call. We're here to take care of it. And we have an awesome guest here who's been talking with us here, Frank and Frank Miller. Uh, he is the Dean of Enrollment and Management at Rankin Tech. And we've been talking about, well, just all kinds of different things. So we're going to jump right in here to some of the special programs and things that you have out there. And at break time, you were sharing with me me a little bit about some of the veteran programs and you just shared with me some really awesome information would you tell the folks yeah so part of Rankin uh, we're accredited by the higher learning commission the higher learning commission accredits uh, colleges like SLU OMSL Wash U so basically we're in that same category whenever you're accredited financial aid is offered uh, which is great because, of course, most students are going to have to have some kind of supplemental uh, way to pay for college, and most of them are going to rely on financial aid. So financial aid is available. The GI Bill, we have a, uh, a dedicated department to help veterans. Um, and a lot of people might not know this, but when you have a, a family member that's actually a military veteran and they didn't use the GI Bill, they can pass that on to other family members. So if your father didn't use the GI Bill – and you want to use it, they can pass that on to their sons or daughters. So right now we see a lot of that, you know, uh, not only uh, the veterans that come in just on their own, but passing it on to their family members as well. Now, so that's, I did not know that until you shared that with me. And I think that is, well, I'm a veteran myself, so I'm a, I have, my heart goes out to there. And actually I, a side note, I'm on the board of directors for the Veterans Chamber of Commerce, and I would love for you to come talk to them too, you know, because, uh, you know, to help them get get manpower, but also more education. So that's great news. Now, help us out here. If you're a young person, you're in high school, and you just don't know what direction to go, do you offer any kind of guidance, or how does that work uh, we don't really have many trade schools left in high schools, do we? Or do we have any anymore? Right. I think, uh, I mean, we're one of the the larger and probably the more uh, recognizable one in St. Louis. But in the Midwest, we're considered one of the number one technical colleges. There are other colleges. Uh, there's one in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, there's a two-year part of SWIC over in Illinois. Uh, so there are some other options that are available to you. But they've kind of fallen off as far as for-profit. So we're a non-for-profit school. We don't go into that, you know, uh, that arena. So we're a non-for-profit. Uh, we're accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. Our admission advisors will help anybody that walks in the door. And if they don't know what they want to do, we can tell them about all the programs. They can take a tour of the campus, which is great because it's kind of like the Willy Wonka of St. Louis. You know, you, you see the gates, you, you know it's there, you see it, but you don't really know what's inside of it until right. you come visit. And really, because of the, uh, the, the programs that we offer, 
you know you get the you get a chance to see the whole layout you know from, the, from welding and all the the components that you learn in welding you go into the automotive shop which is like three football fields long wow you know you think of a, a shop as being dirty and you know this is you know the uh, a skill that you know requires getting uh, you know a lot of dirt and stuff in your eyes but really if you walk into our facility which is just like industry it's pretty clean you know real nice i mean you can almost eat off the floors of most of these departments but our uh admissions team will walk you through take you through a tour talk about the program see what's the right fit i mean you know uh not everything's going to work for everybody so we try to match you know if you don't know what you're going to do we try to find out what interest uh, what kind of you know skill set you have and really match you up because we want you to be successful and even throughout your uh, two-year programs that's what you do you always have help. So we're very big on helping students get through. So if they're struggling, you know, you can always go to um, uh, departments and, and get help through either uh, the Student Success Center or through your um, your program director or, you know, the teacher. So um, to make a long story short, um, our admissions counselors, we have two sets. We have inside, we have outside. Our outside counselors, they help high school students. So they're out in the high schools. As a matter of fact, they, uh, they head out next month. So between September and the end of May, they're out. We have uh, specific territories. So we got a counselor that will go out to the St. Louis City Schools help those students so the the inner cities get a a chance to get some information on Rankin. We have one over in Illinois that covers the metro area. We got one in the uh, southwestern part of Missouri. And then uh, we got a couple others that cover the rest of the state. So uh, between them and and their knowledge and really showing you the school, they'll they'll walk you through every step of the process. Yeah, and I know you guys actually, I know you said about you're talking about working with uh, the folks in Illinois, Missouri. But it was, no kidding. I was just talking to some folks just the other day uh, out in California, ranking yep. tech students. Ranking tech. I said, no kidding. Oh yeah, said, because the, uh, out on some of these areas, like the West Coast in particular, they love the work values and the ethics of Midwestern boys and girls, and so we're in high demand. Yep. You know, because just, of just, our values and ranking tech's values. Yep. Just met one from the uh, state of Washington. We had another student that came in all the way from I, I, I want to say uh, Vermont to do the major appliance because they can't find that major appliance program anywhere so they come to st louis oh you know it's just, we have a jewel right here in st louis folks ranking tech and uh, you, you know we're going to talk more about this we're wrapping up on this segment we will see you on the flip side thank you for listening Troy Galloway is a construction manager and consultant, commercial and residential builder, and a certified inspector for all commercial and residential buildings. And now, here is About the House with Troy Galloway. Welcome back, folks, to About the House. This is your humble host, Troy Galloway, owner of Galloway Building Services. We are a construction consulting and inspection company. Everything from new construction to remodeling to commercial buildings. If you're buying or selling a home, give us a call. We're here to help you out. And because of this and because of, I've been doing this for 42 years now, I had to do it the hard way because I didn't live around here. But guys, girls, this we got Frank Miller here of Rankin Tech, and he's going to help you get on the fast track. Uh, so you can walk back out here to, out into the world and how you're going to make tons of money. Uh, well, okay, maybe not tons, but lots of money because it's such a high demand for what we uh, of qualified help. So, Frank, t- help us out here. Tell us about the difference between why a f- going to why go to a technical school versus a four year college. Uh, other than the parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and nothing wrong with the four-year college, right? I mean, it's, it's good for, for that. I mean, our, our I guess, skill set is in the students that are not your traditional four-year that want to go work with their hands and, and learn a skill. So um, what we try to do is provide – when you, when you graduate, that you're ready to work. When you graduate from a four-year, you're actually ready to go get trained, right? Yeah, so, that's right. They, right. they don't teach you, I mean, business school, you don't know how to run a business. Right. So you're going to learn after you get your degree where you're learning before your degree, and you're ready to go to work once you get that degree. So wages. What can we look for for a person coming out 
uh, at just entry level after your education, not entry level if you never had any skill. And uh, tell uh, tell the folks how fast you could be up to journeyman wages and and you know some of the weight you know how much they could be expected to make. Yeah, I mean in a nutshell, most of our programs uh, because they're kind of different in in the divisions. But are going to mainly going to fall in. This is starting wages. Once you get your degree and once you hit hit the ground running, right? It's going to be bef- between forty and sixty thousand a year. Not to say that some might fall a little under or a little bit more than that, but generally speaking, it's about a forty sixty, and that's right coming out of the gate. That, that's a real. That's not bad money. Yeah. Well, you can raise a family comfortably on that, right? And so you figure by the time you put five years experience, a lot of these are now six figure incomes. And, you know, that's a good quality of life. I mean, you can have a house, you can have a car, you can take vacations. You know, a lot of these jobs have great benefits, great retirement. So, you know, there's some, you know, back end that that a lot of people don't think about when you're, you know, 20 something years old. But that comes down the road and you'll be glad you had it when it comes. So how much does one of you, would would your basic construction type like electrician, I, I guess each course has different levels of cost and yeah i shouldn't even call it cost because it's not it's an investment into your future absolutely so you're going to do a two-year program most of our programs are pretty structured so we're going to tell you you know by the time you enter in fall of this year two years from now you're going to have your degree so it's not like a typical four-year college where you say well i can take this class next semester or take that one next we schedule you out so for your two years you know what to do and you you're you're set so most of those programs involve having the right tools. And so there are some tools involved. So you're going to have more tools, let's say, with automotive than you would IT. So IT is going to be more book-related. you know. But in a nutshell, most of these courses uh, or programs are going to fall into anywhere between, I would say, thirteen and 17000 a, a year. So your investment is for two years, so you got a lot less debt than a four-year college. You're ready to go to work. Most of our uh, students have uh, have a job before they even graduate. We had a 97% placement rate. So 97% of our graduates, not only did they graduate and went to work, they went into the field that they went to school for, which is big because, you know, you just don't get a piece of paper and you go work for a fast food place. You know, if you get a construction degree, you're going to go work in construction more than likely. You know, for that type of investment, that is so economical that you could honestly, within a couple of two or three years, you could pay it off at at, at literally where so many of, I hear these four-year colleges, you know, and whatnot. I mean, they're they're talking about just going astronomically in debt, you know. I mean, some of them have uh, six-figure, you know, debt when they come out. Yeah, how how do you pay something like that off? Where here you can walk right in there, you're already ready to go to work. Uh, You know, wow. You know, I did did not know it was that economical. Now, I did go to college. I got my engineering degree, but I, I, I we had, I spent a long, long, long time, and we used to have all kinds of different programs, uh, Pell grants and such. Do they have any kind of grant programs like this that can help offset this cost for you folks? Yeah, so we qualify for just about any kind of financial aid again, and any scholarships or grants that are available. So usually, typically, you'll find out what scholarships are available by April. And so you can you can apply for those scholarships, and usually if you're enrolling in summer or if you're enrolling in fall, that would take effect. But we have a lot of companies that, that basically give scholarships to specifically rank in students. So to give you an idea, um, I believe it was uh, Waterloo, Columbia, um, and another school in Illinois. So there was a donor that gave a scholarship if you went to one of these three high schools, and they gave you a scholarship specifically if you went to rank and, and learned a skill. So there's a lot of that out there. And you'll guide the guy, you'll guide everybody for any kind of, uh, you got counselors to help folks yeah, go so through the, that work. So the best thing is rankin.edu. You can find all the information. You can find out what the enrollment process is, which is really easy, uh, costs, all that stuff's on our, our rankin.edu. Wow, this is great. Uh, you got to do this, folks. I mean, what a great opportunity for young folks to get out there. Uh, not even young folks, people that wanted a career change. You know, what a great opportunity and make good money at the same time. Well, folks, thank you for listening to About the House. We will, this is, we're going to wrap this segment up and head to the next one. We will catch you on the flip side. Make sure you got them pen and paper ready because we're going to give out all the information you need to contact everybody. All right. Thank you.
Troy Galloway is a construction manager and consultant, commercial and residential builder, and a certified inspector for all commercial and residential buildings. And now, here is About the House with Troy Galloway. Welcome back, folks, to About the House. This is Troy Galloway, your humble host, owner of Galloway Building Services. And before we move right, finish up this last segment, I want to thank one of our premier sponsors of our show, a Classic Flooring Solutions, hardwood specialist, Jacob Abraham is the owner. He's been on our show. You'll catch his podcast. Great third generation hardwood men and uh, straight shooters. Guaranteed, you're going to be really, really happy with them. Their phone number is 314. 314- Three zero two seven two 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 as three one four three zero two seven two 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 and you could catch his podcast on one of our pa- past uh, segments here and Frank we thank you for showing coming to our show here today but let me ask you real quick because I I that we are such a demand is what kind of waiting times are we looking for if we want to find out about the school enroll what are we looking at yeah so we have three enrollment periods which are the fall spring and summer most of the time it's open enrollment you can uh apply uh free application you go to rankin.edu there's no cost to apply my only recommendation is to apply early register early because classes do fill up you could be i guess delayed until the next semester depending on the size of the class we try to keep the class sizes small smaller is better in this in this uh scenario because we want uh hands-on training we want everybody to learn so there's limited space in most of the classes but a lot of times if we uh, get a higher enrollment, we'll start a second class. So uh, very few times would you have to get delayed, but it does happen. Well, that's great. Now, tell everybody your phone number, how they find you on Facebook, your web page, whatnot. Yeah, so if anybody's inter- interested in construction, which is what we're talking about today, we got specific classes. we got an architectural class, which is a four-year program. So we actually are a four-year degree as well. So we got two four-year programs. You can get a bachelor in management and a bachelor in architecture. Our building systems engineering, if you like CAD, AutoCAD, you know, uh, drafting design, that's a program where you're going to lay out the design of the building and, and uh, do the computer part of it. The uh, carpentry, if you want to be a carpenter, if you want to do HVAC, if you want to do major appliance, plumbing, um, electrical, all those are considered construction. We had those for all three periods. The easiest thing to do is go to rankin.edu. You can call into the main St. Louis, which will get you connected to any campus, depending on what you're looking for. But 314-286-4809 will get you right into the main um, um, department, and, and they'll direct you which uh, direction to go to. What's that phone number one more time? 314-286-4809. We're on Facebook. It's, you know, Rankin uh, Facebook page. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, we're on great. Twitter. We got all the social cover, too. <laughs> Good deal. Hey, uh, folks, you just got to give this for you folks a call. What a great way of having, I mean, the trades is an honorable and much desirable uh, uh, way of making a living. You know, it's, very, it's a great way of uh, taking care of your family without a huge investment well folks thank you for listening to our show i really appreciate it. i really appreciate frank jumping on here coming in and helping us out i want to thank one of our premier sponsors also j h property real estate agent brokers and they're large enough to handle all your buying and home selling needs and yet always small enough to be sensitive always there whenever you need to have somebody to talk to 314-602 Six zero two four eight three five. When you call them, make sure you either them and Jacob. You tell them that you heard them on radio show uh, about the house. They will do give a special treat for you to make sure that you are well taken care of. Well, folks, thank you for listening. I want you to catch us next week. I have a we're talking about handyman and uh, construction. I got a great handyman service type program that's coming on next week and uh mr fix it i think you're really going to love what he's got to say and some of the things that they're doing well this is troy galloway i am signing off give us a call if we could ever be any service to you folks also thank you have a great day appreciate your time